Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to look at a few more of our quadrilaterals and we're going to fill in some notes for rectangle, rhombus, and square. So what properties do they have? What makes them so special? We're going to be continuing working on making our little organizer here or our visual aid of uh, how they're all related. We're talking about quadrilaterals, that is all four-sided figures. Uh, we've filled in parallelograms. So all the parallelograms have this property. And now notice rectangle, rhombi, and squares here. They're a part of that parallelogram family as well as the quadrilateral family. So uh, these three figures are uh, special types of parallelograms. They are parallelograms, but they're just a little bit more special. So they have some key features that set them apart from other parallelograms. And we're going to take a look at filling in those key features inside of those little flaps today. So let's start with rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. That's his definition. So that means we're talking about having a parallelogram that happens to have four right angles. Now in this diagram, it is a rectangle and he has four right angles by definition, but another property is also true. We have diagonals that will be equal in length. So that means from B to D in this picture and A to C in this picture will be congruent. So BD is congruent to AC. And that is a property that rectangles will have uh, because they're a little bit more special than just generic parallelograms, if you will. Now, another type of quadrilateral we're going to be looking at is a rhombus, or rhombi for plural. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So again, we're talking about a parallelogram that has all of those parallelogram properties, you know, parallel sides and opposite angles congruent and uh, consecutive angles supplementary, diagonals bisected, all of those parallelogram things still hold true but it's a little bit more special than that because he now has four congruent sides. It's called a rhombus. Now in a rhombus, the diagonals will also happen to be perpendicular. So that means in this picture at E here, we would have 90 degree corners. We would have four right triangles, if you will. And we also have diagonals that bisect opposite angles. So that means in this diagram, angle 1 would be congruent to angle 2, angle 7 would be congruent to angle 8, angle 5 would be congruent to angle 6, and so on. The angles are being bisected. We would note that this angle here and this one here would match with the two angles that are across or opposite in the same way that that would be happening here with angle 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. So we have some more equal angles in a picture when we're dealing with a rhombus. Now let me tell you a little story about rhombus and rectangle. Rhombus and rectangle were college sweethearts. You know, in fact, they met in high school, went away to college together, uh, learned a lot, got their degrees, decided to get married, got married and had a little baby named Square. Imagine square here, he is like uh, the genetic child of rhombus and rectangle. That means if we were going to list all of the attributes that square has, he is a parallelogram, but he has all the attributes a rectangle has, as well as all the attributes a square, ha or, uh, sorry, a rhombus has, and that means there would be a whole lot of stuff to list. Because he's a parallelogram, because he's a rhombus, because he's a rectangle, all of those things, there would be a lot of properties going on. We would have all sides congruent, opposite sides are still parallel, all the angles are 90 degrees, in fact all the angles would be the same. Consecutive angles are still supplementary, diagonals are equal in length, they are bisected, they are making 90 degrees, they are bisecting opposite angles, so much going on. To sum it all up, let's just write in that little flap that a quadrilateral um, that is both a rhombus and a rectangle. That's all square is. He's got all of the characteristics of a rhombus, all of the characteristics of a rectangle, all of the characteristics of a parallelogram. He's very, very special in terms of all the things that happen within a square. So let's just write that inside that little flap that it is both a rhombus and a rectangle. That is what a square is. 
Okay, so now that we have all of these uh, key features filled out, we should be able to work with these key features to solve for missing pieces inside any of these figures. Using our skills, using their uh, key features and their attributes, we should be able to solve for missing sides, angles, whatever the case may be. So I want to thank you for filling that out and watching this short video. When we get to class, we'll work more on these things. Thanks again. Kincaid out.